All right, what's happening? I should Rico from Street Scores, and it is a lot going on with this quarterback situation right now. I cannot wait to go ahead and get this pick over with, but we have some major updates today. I'm working on another video so we can talk about something outside of quarterbacks today, so be on the lookout for that later tonight. But we have to go ahead and address the fact that John Com said on his podcast that he hears from sources close to Jada Daniels that he prefers to go to either the Washington Commanders or the Minnesota Vikings, even with all of the chaos going on we're going to talk about that also a pr representative from Jaden daniels's camp issued a new statement that's very big we're going to talk about that and apparently washington commanders and like adam peter specifically and Jaden daniels's camp have officially settled their issues is the exact quote coming from the report we're going to talk about all of that and more we have some big time quarterback updates today even a drake may update and a jj mccarthy update as well but before we dive into all of that make sure you still follow him that like button still follow the subscription button and still follow the bell next to that subscription button so you get notification each and every time i release an informant of an opinionated video just like this one again we are not playing with y'all so make sure you go follow us on all of the other sites as well facebook twitter instagram tiktok we have content on there as well that even some of the stuff on there isn't even put on my youtube as well so make sure you go follow me everywhere because we're taking over and of course stay tuned because we're about to start doing some film sessions before the draft and then after the draft of course i'm doing film sessions on all of the players that we end up taking and also make sure you stay tuned because i'm working on a mock draft my final predictive mock draft before this draft happens and i'm also working on a call-in show live stream for y'all to call in and voice your opinions on what you think and want to happen in this upcoming draft giving y'all the floor to voice your opinions and let y'all be heard to the rest of the world but we're getting ahead of ourselves right now let's go ahead and get to this video right now let's get it adam adam All right, so first of all, now, before we dive into any of this new information that we got today, again, like I've been telling y'all in several videos, I want to reiterate that I am here to give y'all all of the information and updates that I have, and that's it. It's completely up to y'all for y'all to come away with y'all own conclusions. I'm giving my opinions here and there. But I'm mostly just thinking out loud with these opinions. And when I give my opinions and thoughts on certain things, it's more so me just kind of brainstorming and throwing things out there. So again, I'm just here to give y'all the information that's readily available for everybody that's on the internet right now. From reports, from videos, podcasts, and things like that. It's up to y'all to again conclude by yourselves what everything means and which quarterback you think the commanders will end up drafting i'm not trying to push any agendas or anything like that so i just wanted to preface the video with that now let's get to the information well first of all we're gonna go in chronological order john com said uh, on his podcast like two days ago that he talked to some people really close to Jaden daniels like some people that's in his camp that really know him and apparently they said that Jaden Daniels would prefer to go to the Washington Commanders or the Minnesota Vikings. Those are his top two choices, and it's because of the rosters and the coaching staffs and the proven quarterback development. And I have two major points from this. One, personally, I agree wholeheartedly. If I were him, I'd prefer Washington and Minnesota as well over the Patriots and the Giants, maybe even the Raiders too. If we're looking at weapons, if we're looking at how the organizations are set up top to bottom like ownership gms coaching staff especially on the commander side of things and when we're talking roster we got to lean towards the vikings because of justin jefferson and guys like that we're talking quarterback development you have kevin o'connell on one side and then on our side you have brian johnson cliff kingsbury anthony lynn so many guys on our side as well i feel like again like i've been saying for several weeks now really for a couple of months that if you're a top quarterback coming out of this draft you're very happy because the bears have arguably one of the best rosters that a number one overall pick could ever go to in recent nfl history and then same thing with Jaden daniels second overall pick is probably going to end up if he goes to the commanders going to one of the best second overall pick rosters that a quarterback could ever go to right now so and then minnesota looks likely to trade up for somebody maybe it's drake may maybe it's jj mccarthy but either way whoever 
whoever ends up going to Minnesota is going to be very happy as well. I feel like, honestly, out of the, like the top four quarterbacks that you assume between Caleb Williams, Drake May, Jaden Daniels, and J.J. McCarthy, that whoever goes to the Patriots is going to be the saddest. And at the very least, rookie season-wise, 2024-wise, is going to have the worst season out of any of the quarterbacks. It doesn't matter how good you are. It doesn't matter which of the four quarterback goes to the Patriots, just based on what they have set up right now, roster and coaching staff-wise, I'm just going to assume that whoever goes to the Patriots is going to have the worst season at the very least in 2024, but maybe even beyond that. And if I'm, again, Jaden Daniels, point number one is that I completely agree as to why he prefer the Washington Commanders and the Vikings as his destinations of course the bears are canceled out we're just again like i said the draft really starts with the commanders we already know caleb williams going to the bears so just ignoring his existence and in the bears existence really we have the first overall pick that really matters where we actually don't know what's gonna happen and again if i'm Jaden daniels excluding caleb williams and, and bears because we just got to go ahead and cancel that out I would personally prefer to go to Washington or the Vikings, especially over the Patriots and even the Giants as well. So that's point number one. Then point number two, I question, is that even true? And then on top of that, does it even matter? It makes all of the sense in the world. I com Again, I completely agree. So I can easily believe it because I feel the exact same way if that is true. But at the same time, did Daniels' camp tell that to John Kahn before this infamous top golf trip that Jada Daniels apparently hated according to rumors and reports? Like, is this basically old news that doesn't even matter anymore because this podcast was two days ago and now we have newer information that has come out and is basically canceling any preference that Jaden Daniels had towards the Washington Commanders? Because there is a chance that maybe this information John Com received before Top Golf Gate, he reported it two days ago, Thursday, April 18th. But you never know. He never specified if he received this information before or after the Top Golf situation. So moving forward into newer information and going in chronological order based off of that as well. Again, John Com was his podcast was the first report. The fact that Jaden Daniels reportedly prefers to go to the Washington Commanders or the Minnesota Vikings. But again, we don't know if that was before or after Top Golf. Now moving on again, going in chronological order. A PR representative of Jaden Daniels issued a public statement last night. She quote tweeted an Adam Schefter video reporting on Jaden Daniels and the Washington Commanders and all of this drama that's going on. And she said, Jaden Daniels is excited to be a part of the NFL and wherever he is drafted, he will be happy to be a part of that organization. And of course, this is just a PR representative keeping it very surface, keeping it very political, really didn't say much. But of course, there's some interesting information to potentially take from this if we're really reaching for it again. Like I preface this video, all of this could mean absolutely nothing. Everything that we discuss in this video could absolutely just not matter at all by the time it's all said and done. But we're still here to just dive into all of the information and what anything could potentially mean. So again, I'm admitting that a lot of this information that we're reaching for are actually potentially reaches. So now we have three people from Jaden Daniels' camp that have addressed this situation of whether Jaden Daniels wants to play for Washington or not. If we're keeping score, it's two to one in favor of Jaden Daniels preferring to play for Washington. You have one agent and one PR representative as of last night that says that Jaden Daniels is fine with playing wherever he want, wherever he ends up getting drafted. And even if it's the commanders, it doesn't matter. And then you have the other agent that, of course, started all of this drama by basically insinuating that Jaden Daniels hated the top golf situation, hated the process, and may not prefer to go to the Washington Commanders. But of course, anybody in this situation could be lying. You never know. If they're just trying to clean up the first agent's mess, and maybe the first agent was right. But Jaden Daniels' camp doesn't want any of that information out there. So again, who knows? But like I talked about in last night's video, it seems like even if Jaden Daniels does not prefer to go to the Washington Commanders and for us to draft them, Adam Peters is still very likely to not care enough to stop himself from taking Jaden Daniels anyway if he prefers Jaden Daniels. So if the Commanders do actually prefer Jaden Daniels over Drake, May, J.J. McCarthy, and those other quarterbacks, then all of this drama doesn't really even matter. And continuing moving forward in chronological order, Jeremy Fowler was on ESPN this morning, and then he said, quote, it does feel like that there is some smoke here. 
that's sort of undeniable at this point as was told to me this has not gone as smoothly as it should for a player who's a viable candidate for the second overall pick unquote again that was jeremy fowler this morning on espn so we had a john Con podcast moment two days ago we had a pr representative for Jaden daniels's camp last night and now we're to this morning from jeremy fowler so basically jeremy fowler said that maybe there is some real truth to all of this Jaden daniels hating the top golf event and maybe there is some truth to the fact that he doesn't want to go to the commanders anymore and all of this drama that's going on but again like i just said a few minutes ago even if true it may not matter if the commanders end up taking Jaden daniels even if he does prefer to go to the vikings or the patriots or like some of the rumors are saying out there what's he gonna do not play sabotage his own nfl career over some silly top golf mess some top 30 visit mess because you didn't like the way it went down no he wouldn't do that he's gonna go out there and do everything in his power to be great and lead the commanders to super bowl rings like he would for any other team that could potentially draft them now moving forward in chronological order again there's some relatively breaking news if this is true ralph vacciano reported that and this was earlier today like sometime in the afternoon LSU quarterback Jaden Daniels' agent and commanders have talked since the speculations and rumors and have now settled any issues that they had. So was this all for nothing? Was this a situation where there never actually was any real drama and that the commanders just basically had to check in to make sure? Because I do believe the fact that maybe the commanders have gotten in contact with Jaden Daniels' camp, his agents, and all of the mess that's going on. And then on one side, like I just said, maybe there was never any drama. The commanders are just checking in. Or maybe on the other side, this was a situation where there was an issue and maybe Adam Peters called in to handle it and told Jaden Daniels and his agent to basically chill out. Out. but going back to ralph's report what he exactly said was quote i don't know if quarterback Jaden daniels wants to play for the washington commanders or would he prefer to play for another team but the flap about his agent being unhappy about the group quarterback visit to washington is a bit overblown the two sides have talked since per sources and settled any issues that they had and that's pretty big time man ralph also repeated what Jaden Daniels' PR lady said last night. Quote, Jaden Daniels is excited to be a part of the NFL wherever he is drafted, and he will be happy to be a part of that organization. And basically, no matter what, Jaden Daniels is open to being drafted to whoever wants him. And of course, with the commanders having the second overall pick, he would probably prefer to go higher, as high as possible in the draft. That's more money, that's more bragging rights, whatever. It's more pride, ego, whatever you want to put to that. And then, so maybe... There's a little bit of backtracking there. After seeing how the world perceived Jaden Daniels' agents' emojis and likes again, it's crazy that all of this started from just some emojis and likes. Just let's start there. And then it's emojis and likes, not even from Jaden Daniels himself, but one of his agents, one of, not even both, not even potentially the several that he has representing him, just one agent emojis and likes crazy but maybe it was just never anything in the first place maybe it was literally just the agent himself just isolated not Jaden daniels that hated the top 30 visit situation and maybe Jaden daniels never had a problem with it in the first place who knows for real again i'm just a messenger that's um, all i'm here to do is give y'all information and also again maybe none of this even matters and then Ralph finishes by saying with his report, I also talked to a commander source who described the issue as, quote, just noise and insisted it would have no impact on their decision. They also have no reason to believe any of the top quarterbacks will be unhappy in Washington. So if they decide Daniels is their guy, they'll take him. And if Ralph Vacciano is actually speaking the truth, he actually got in contact with the commanders and they actually gave him that information and they actually mean that information, that that's pretty big news that means everybody's still on the table you cannot just automatically cross out Jaden Daniels because of all of the recent drama over the internet because again like I've already said maybe there was no drama in the first place who knows what's going on and again not only is that big news and comforting if you're a Jaden Daniels fan but this is also very logical like I've already said in many different ways over the course of many different videos Adam Peters is going to take the guy he prefers no matter what that's why this drama is just so silly and stupid but because again even if Jaden daniels prefers to go elsewhere which like i talked about in an earlier video why would he 
but also even if he does it's not going to matter and i completely agree with my dog rio robinson when he tweeted gave us a fun week to chew on some bs but nothing's changed and basically he's saying that this is just lion season this was fun some real cool drama to keep us going to keep us entertained for a few days leading up to the draft but at the end of the day none of this matters and Jaden daniels is more than likely going to end up being the pick anyway and honestly all of this that's going down that i'm talking about in this video i've been covering for the past couple of weeks is really just going to end up being a funny distant memory that people only bring up to laugh about by the time we even get to april 26th it's already going to be like yeah none of that mattered so again i'm just here to update y'all information and before we move on to the next topic, my boy Reshmel did a great job of clarifying a part of this agent mess that also seems to be getting a little bit out of hand because a lot of people have also been talking about this. Resh Manuel tweeted, I feel I need to repost this for who incorrectly believe Jaden Daniels hired a firm for his crisis management after the events of this past week. Daniels has been with EAG management since January as he began his preparation for to be an NFL player and it's a repost a picture of denise white the pr agent when she put up Jaden daniels's announcement of signing with eag sports and and all of the public relations things like that so rich manuel was basically disputing the fact that some people out there saying that oh look Jaden daniels went and hired a pr firm and some management to help clean up the mess that's been going down this past week but no this is the same group of people that he's been with since january so that just shows you that maybe none of this mess even mattered and now it was just time for them to finally speak up and put all of this drama to rest but at the end of the day maybe all of this really doesn't matter because what if adam peters doesn't even like Jaden daniels in the first place what if he's preferred another quarterback all along which takes me to first up drake may first of all scout dnfl did a whole 28 minute video answering draft questions and the most interesting one for commanders fans was when he said quote commanders gm adam peters visited three or more practices at north carolina while he was with san francisco in that 28 minute video where he was discussing all kinds of draft questions for all 32 nfl teams it wasn't like a commander's focused thing that question just happened to pertain to the commanders which is why i wanted to point it out and this is a report that also came out a while ago by another source but a lot of us were still unsure of how trustworthy that source and information was at the time but now you have another notable source confirming it so it sounds a little bit more believable now. I'm still not sure how much I believe it, but it definitely sounds a little bit more believable now that there's another source saying the same thing. But just like with all of the other Jaden Daniels drama that's going on, does this information even matter? This is Adam Peters' team, and the pick is ultimately his to make. This is his team. He's running the show completely. But he has also said that this is going to be extremely collaborative. And so even if Adam Peters slightly is leaning towards Drake May, that may not automatically mean that Drake May will be the pick. But it does drastically increase Drake May's chances of being the pick. But then also, didn't Adam Peters just say two days ago in a press conference that he had not done any prior research on these quarterbacks until after he became the new commander's general manager just a couple of months ago? Like he literally just said two days ago, exact quote, before I took this job, we weren't really scouting top of the draft quarterbacks really hard. In our job, you have to really prioritize your time. Spending a ton of time on the first round quarterbacks wasn't something I really did. Didn't dig into this group of guys, really came in with a clean slate, unquote. And that makes a lot of sense. He was just the assistant general manager of the 49ers. They already have Brock Purdy. His focus was on literally every other position group other than quarterback so why would he already have these preconceived notions and opinions that drake may should be the quarterback that whatever team he ends up becoming the general manager for that should be the guy that he should end up drafting before he even became the commander's general manager it makes sense and i do believe him when he says that so now i'm sitting back like who's lying here is adam peters lying to us on purpose to set up a smoke screen or are those other two sources lying about the fact that he was at drake may practices and then going back to my main point about how adam peters may prefer a quarterback other than Jaden daniels there's also a report that two nfl gm said that if the commanders let analytics guide them jj mccarthy would be the second overall pick over Jaden daniels and drake may and this is via the washington post 
Now, that's not them saying that Adam Peters and the commanders just straight up prefer J.J. McCarthy over the other quarterbacks. But that's two real NFL GMs, current GMs, saying that if the commanders are as analytics based as they claim to be and as they l seem to be with all of the hires that Josh Harris has made with Eugene Shin and all of these guys, then J.J. McCarthy would actually make a lot of sense. That's what they're saying. And you never know if Adam Peters may actually lean towards the analytics with this one, even though he is purely a football guy. He come, he came up as a scout. That's why he loves to shout out the scouts for the commanders. He gives them as much shine as possible. He's literally a pure football watching all 22 type of guy purely football not statistics not analytics that's eugene shin and all of those other guys josh harris wants an analytics based organization but he went and got adam peters a purely football guy for a reason so again this is also some information that may not matter at all but lastly before we get up out of here there's yet another person saying what i've been saying for weeks now daniel jeremiah on his move the sticks podcast said quote i think anyone who says they know exactly what washington is doing is lying because i don't think adam is saying a word to anybody unquote and i completely agree with that there was a report just a few days ago that even some people in the commanders building and franchise don't even know what adam peters and dan quinn are thinking and which quarterback they're leaning towards right now and john com one of the reporters as close to the commanders you could possibly get has even said that nobody knows what adam peters is thinking right now so i want to keep re-emphasizing that and that's why i preface this video that everything we talked about in this video may not even matter because who knows what adam peters is thinking i'm just here to give you all the information and I wanted to make sure I ended the video with letting y'all know and re-emphasizing that nobody knows what Adam Peters is thinking right now except for maybe Dan Quinn right now. That is it. Cliff Kingsbury may not even know. It may be just that tight-lipped around there right now. Again, you got to be G13 classified like my dog from Rush Hour. But yeah, man, that's the end of this video. Make sure you stiff arm that like button, stiff arm the subscription button, stiff arm the bell next to that subscription button so you get a notification each and every time I release an informative and opinionated video just like this one. Even though this video may end up not mattering at all by the time we actually get to the second overall pick with the quarterback that we end up taking and everything. Please let me know how you feel about all of this information. What do you take from all of this information? What do you actually believe is true? What do you believe actually matters let me know all of that of course and uh, and make sure you stay tuned because again i'm working on film sessions going up to the draft i'm coming out with a final predictive mock draft before the draft and make sure you be on the lookout for that call-in show i don't exactly know which day and what time i'll end up doing it but it's on the way i promise you that we're definitely going to do a call-in live stream for y'all to call in before this draft happens i'm gonna start the my draft live stream like an hour before the draft actually happens so we can have some fun in the chat we could be chilling y'all can be asking me questions in the chat and things like that but as far as like a call-in live show where you call into the show and everybody that's watching the video and watching the live stream can hear you just like i can we're gonna do that sometime at least a day before the draft at worst at the latest wednesday so just stay tuned for that but i'm shooting towards maybe tomorrow as in sunday maybe monday we'll see just make sure you stay tuned for that and of course man i got y'all covered for everything commander so stay tuned again we're getting back to like two three videos a day even though my first video is coming out this late i've just been super busy today I'm still going to try to come out with something tonight before 12 a.m. hits so that I can at least meet the two video quota for today. And then we're going to be right back to it tomorrow. And so, yeah, man, I really appreciate y'all. Make sure you don't leave this video without leaving a like. I really appreciate y'all. Stay tuned for more information. I'm going to catch y'all later. I'm going to get I'm going to keep y'all updated on a lot of our top 30 visits because I know a lot of the focus has been on the quarterbacks. But we've also had some really interesting top 30 visits as far as other position groups go as well. So stay tuned for that update. I may come out with that update tomorrow. I'm going to catch y'all later. Appreciate y'all. I'm out.